about 31, I had a question coming out of section 9.6, number 29. And here we were asked to find the first three terms of the binomial expansion. So let me write, find first three terms. And when I say binomial, I've got my two terms and they're raised to a power. So I'm going to use the binomial theorem to expand this. And if I wanted to, I could go through and I could use Pascal's triangle but I'd have to go, ooh, that's not the best looking three. I'd have to go down to the eighth level. And I got to tell you, I just, I don't know that it's worth it because I only want the first three terms of this. I don't need every term. So I, I want to be clear that you could keep going down here. But what I'm going to opt to do instead is use a more direct interpretation of the binomial theorem. And you see, I'm going to just do eight choose zero for the first term, eight choose one for the second term, and eight choose two for the third term, and that's what I would have had if I eventually got down to that eighth level. But I'm just gonna crunch those numbers on my calculator and be done with it. I feel like that's less for me to have to do than actually crunching, or not even crunching, but expanding this binomial, excuse me, expanding Pascal's triangle down to the eighth level. All right, so the next thing I need to do is look at the first term in my binomial expansion, x cubed, and I need to put an x cubed in every term of my in every term of my binomial expansion, but I need to mess with the exponents. So you see I start with eight, and then I head down to seven, and then I head down to six. All right, and then the second term in, bi in my um, binomial is negative square root of y. So you see in my expansion, I have negative square root y, negative square root y, negative square root y. But what I need to make sure I pay attention to is the powers, they need to increase. So I go from zero to one to two. And I could keep on going here. The only reason I stopped was because the direction said get the first three terms. I could have continued to decrease the powers on the x cubed and increase the powers on the negative root y and, and use the rest of the binomial coefficients if I wanted to. But again, it said first three terms, so I'm going to call it. And just a little check, I, I, I always go through this. I look at the exponents on my little pairs here, and they sum to 8, which is a good thing, right? And these two here, they sum to 8, and these two here, they sum to 8. And I always just check that they add to that number, whatever my original exponent was, because in expanding all of these terms, I'm, I'm bound to make some kind of error. So it's just a quick little check. Do I have the, the correct exponents? And then it's a matter of playing this out. So 8 choose 0 on my calculator is 1. x cubed to the 8 this x to the 24th. Negative square root of y to the 0 is 1. And this first term becomes this, which ultimately is just x to the 24th. Right? Then I find out that 8 choose 1 is 8. This becomes x cubed to the 7th is x to the 21st. Negative square root y to the 1 is square root y. But notice I have that negative symbol there. And when I simplify that, there's my second term. And then I do it for the third term, and that's the answer we're looking for. All right, so that's how you do number 29. Thanks so much. Bye.